Prince Harry has been urged to speak directly with Prince Charles amid growing worry among Palisades about the public fallout to the ongoing rift. Prince Harry needs to speak directly with his father Prince Charles and not US media, according to British broadcast Mark Dolan. Mr Dolan urged the royal family to resolve their differences during an appearance on the Sky News Morning Paper Review. He discussed the story in the Mail on Sunday which suggests palace aides have called on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to give up their royal titles. Sky News host Gillian Joseph said to Mr Dolan, Royal aides want Harry and Meghan to give up their titles. On the back of the podcast where Harry was quite critical of his father, Mr Dolan responded, The royal soap opera is continuing apace. We know that Harry has been throughout an awful lot in his life. So, there is plenty of sympathy from where I'm standing for Harry and his story. But it seems strange way to go about it, to conduct this soul, searching via podcasts and TV interviews. If there are issues with his family he needs to talk to Charles about that and resolve that in ways most families have to. He continued, having this public platform looks an attack on the royal family. It feels like revenge, it feels like an agenda. That is how it looks to many in the UK. Royal aides are worried and are suggesting that the HRH title should go. If, God forbid, Charles and William both died, Prince Harry would be king and Meghan Markle would be queen. But they would be joining an institution they clearly hate and have been very critical of in recent weeks. Mr Dolan said he agreed with the Palisades, saying that if the couple are fed up of being royals and can't stand the family, then they should move on and that includes dispensing with those titles. According to the report, there is an increasing sense of bewilderment and betrayal inside the palace concerning Prince Harry. 1. A told the mail, the Duke of Sussex has now spent a significant amount of time emphasizing that has no different to anyone else and attacking the institution which he says has caused him so much pain. There is a growing feeling that if you dislike the institution that much, you shouldn't have the titles. Another source said, they should put the titles into abeyance, so they still exist, but are not used, like they agree to do with their HRHs. They should just become Harry and Meghan. And if they refuse to do that, they have to explain why not. The 36 year old told the US podcast this week that he wanted to break the cycle of genetic pain that ran through his family. Both Harry and Meghan agreed not to use their HRH titles when they stepped back as working members of the royal family last year. However, they have continued to use Duke and Duchess on projects they have launched since moving to California, including in their deals with Netflix and Spotify.